Cue the screaming tweens. Rob Pattinson is in town, talking up the release of the final Twilight film. And amid the fan frenzy, Showbiz sat down for an interview with a vampire who knew they were partial to chocolate biscuits. It's great to see you. You do? Tim Tams and everything. <laughs> and I've literally, I think I have got it all in my teeth. I'm, I'm going to keep speaking with the tiniest mouth open. I've had a bad habit of underestimating you. Every obstacle you face. I think you couldn't overcome it. And you just did. For Rob, landing the role of Edward Cullen was a fast track to superstardom. He's now ranked among the most powerful, bankable actors in the world. It's weird having a big break when you're when you're pretty young and you haven't done very much, because then everyone's suddenly watching everything you do afterwards. The fantasy film series, which has so far grossed over $2 billion, also won him millions of obsessive fans. Did you ever become comfortable with that or even understand how that level of hysteria happens? No, not really. I mean, it just sort of came out of nowhere, but everyone's and, and kind of people were like, oh, OK. But it's funny. I mean, I was never even getting, like, the good-looking guy roles before, like, ever. I never got one before. <laughs> like, um, but you're always kind of hoping, like, oh, God, I hope I don't... Like, one, suddenly one day everyone's going to be like, what are you all talking about? So it's like the Emperor's New Clothes. Along with fame and fans, he also scored a girlfriend in co-star Kristen Stewart. They've reportedly recently reconciled after splitting up over Kristen's affair with a director. Of course, questions about that were off-limits. But Rob says there's every chance they'll work together again, with more Twilight films a definite possibility. I mean, I always hear, I keep hearing about them, apparently. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the studio's always talking about making more of them. I'd definitely be curious. In the meantime, he's hoping bidding farewell to Edward may just mean a break from Twilight hysteria. There is one thing he misses about life before becoming a vampire. Just walking around. I mean, just walking around the street. I mean, it's kind of, you know, without being paranoid. <laughs> Breaking Dawn Part 2 opens November 15th.